hello. Um, I, I like, I'm not, I was gonna be like, sorry for how I look, but fuck you, I'm not sorry. Um, but to explain why I'm not painted up like a whore, uh, I just don't feel good. My allergies have been a little bleh because here in Michigan, and I realize that most everyone who's watching this lives in Michigan, but my cousin watches and she lives in Arizona, so allow me to tell you the hell that has been this shit. Uh, let's see, in the last week we have had an ice storm, snow, rain, and 70 degree weather. So my face wants mother nature to pick a season. And what's funny is I don't, like, I think I look fine and I sound fine. So it's not even like, it's, it's just like, I just have fucking had sinus headaches and I'll wake up and I feel very fluey and just, ugh. so I just don't feel good. So I didn't really put much effort into my look today. I haven't filmed yet. Obviously, I'm filming now because I haven't been able to think of what I wanted to talk about this week because I have had one topic on my mind haunting my life for like weeks now. Because I feel like it's boring, maybe? And I know myself well enough to know that I'm going to get a little ranty. <laughs> so bear with me because now it's kind of... I just, I can't think of anything else. So it's like when you're like craving a cookie and you're like, I'm just gonna like, let me just try to like not eat a cookie. So I'll drink some water and maybe have an apple. And like, you try to just not eat the cookie. And so you end up eating all these other calories and then you just give in and eat the cookie anyway. So I'm just gonna give in and eat the cookie and tell you what's been on my mind. <sighs> oh, and it's been stressing me out so bad. <sighs> like not in a bad way. Okay, 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 I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. Here we are, here we go, here we go. On the journey, what's been bothering you? What's been on my mind lately? I turned 30 in less than two weeks. And you might be sitting there going like, oh, this is gonna be one of those like, I'm turning 30, I'm so old. No, it's not. I'm pumped about turning 30. Uh, I really couldn't care less about like, oh, 30, it's so old. Like, it's not old. Like, that's what blows my mind is everything's relative. And I feel like I've said this before, but like everything is relative. If I died, you wouldn't be like, well, she was 30, so she lived a long life. No, you'd be like, wow, she was so young. So it's all a matter how you look at things. And to me, you know, you've got those milestone birthdays, 16, 18, 21, and then I'm pretty sure like the next big one is 30. So that's kind of exciting. I just love birthdays in general because they kind of bring, they're like my own personal new year. And I love new year because I'm one of those like basic bitches who's like, new year, new me. Love the idea of getting like a fresh start. Yeah, I could sit here and be like, you don't need to wait for a new year to be a new you. What I've always liked about birthdays is it's just kind of like one of those like, okay, so this year, this is what I'm gonna do, or these are my plans for myself. And it gives you a solid start and end date because you know it's your birthday. I'm, I'm excited about another, another year older. Obviously I'm grateful to be alive and happy and healthy and all that shit. However, <laughs> I have been married, it'll be five years this year, and since I got married, I've been asked the question that every woman who gets married gets asked, which is, when are you going to have kids? And guess what age I've always said? 30! And I did not just throw that age, that number out there as like a, oh, I'll just say 30 because it's like years away and I want to think about it. It's gen it, it is the age that in my mind, I was like, 30s when I want to have kids. Now let me go on a rant real quick because I have told people this before. Those assholes have had the nerve in response to me telling them that I want to have kids at 30. Let's do the math. So if I have a kid at 30, that when they turn 10, I'll be 40. When they turn 16, I'll be 46. When they graduate, I'll be 48. 48 is also not old. Just like 30 isn't old. Like, hmm, I've had people who, who've who have said to me like, oh, okay, so you wanna be like an old mom? Old mom, 30 is not old to be a fucking mom. So fuck yourself. My parents were in their 30s when they had me. They were 34 when they had me. They were 36 when they had my brother. Now granted, I was an accident, but like do the fucking math. My parents are in their 60s. Do I think they're old? No, I, ooh. And, and there have been people who have said to me, and these are people who have had kids at 2021. Now, and I know my very first video after this spiel about like offending people and this and that, whatever, and I would never give disclaimers because I do, I do want to give a disclaimer. 
if you had a kid at 20, 21, 22, like I don't fucking care if you had a kid at 16. I'm not judging people who have ki had kids young, whether it was on purpose or on accident. However, there is something to be said about someone who did have a kid young by accident. So you really just kind of got yourself into a situation and you chose to have the baby, raise the baby, have a kid. You're a mom, a dad, you're good for you. Awesome. It's the best thing that ever happened to you, blah, blah, blah. But to sit there and because I don't want to say accident or mistake, but because something you weren't planning happened in your life and, you know, now you're happy and it's the greatest thing that could ever happen to you, but you want to then shit on me because I managed to not do that and wait until I'm 30 and then be like, well, um, I want to be able to go to the bar with my kid when they're 21 and I'll be 42. Okay, fuck off. I can go to the bar with my kid when I'm 51. Is that the math? Yes, 51. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's your goal. That's your goal. I want to have a kid when I'm young so that I can go to the bar with them when I'm still semi-young, first of all. I'm getting real bitchy real quick, but it just, it just drives me nuts that people, you know, like, do you do your life? And if you had a kid at, at 20 or 21 and, and you want to look at it half glass, half full, because fuck, I hope you do. It's a living being and it's not your kid's fault that you had it at 20 or 21 or whatever age, but like to then shit on me because I'm making the, the choice to be preventative and and wait like I'm trying not to like you know talk about how to make a baby because that's just weird to me because I think my brother watches this and like yes we all know where babies come from but stop thinking about it okay just stop don't think about it I don't know, it just pisses me off. That's the point. That's the point of that rant is it pisses me off that I chose to wait until I'm 30 to try to have start to have kids I'm spitting because I'm so passionate <laughs> And people want to just be dicks about it and be like, well, you're going to be an old mom. Fuck you. 48 is not old. I'm going to be 48 if, if I, you know, okay, I guess I'd technically be 49 because if I start having kids at 30 and nine months later and all that shit. But like, you get what I mean. Like, have your kid. I have my kid. My kid's not allowed to be friends with your kid because if your kid's anything like you, it's probably an asshole. <sighs> Rant over. Anyway. Oh. So 30 is coming and you know, everyone says the whole thing like, you're never really ready to have kids and blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't really, like I call a little bit of bullshit on that because I mean, it depends on what you mean when you say ready. Well, I'm just not ready to have kids. Oh, and, and then you come back with like, well, you're never ready. Okay. But then if I say to you, well, I'm unemployed and I'm homeless and uh, I don't know where I'm gonna get my next meal and I'm in debt and about to file for bankruptcy or whatever, you know, like, you'd probably agree that I'm not ready. You know what I mean? To be fair, I am unemployed, <laughs> but I do have a house. So go me. It's all a matter of like what you mean or what you feel when you say ready. I actually feel ready as far as like financially and like, I'm just thinking of all the things that I've ever heard parents say or post or whatever, where it's like, you know, well, you think you're financially ready? Like, just let me take my journey. You know what I mean? I am ready. Like, I feel like emotionally and financially, which may come as a shock again, since I'm unemployed, but like financially, I feel comfortable. I do have a house. I have a, I have a room to put the child in because five years ago, I didn't have a house. I had a one bedroom apartment. I wouldn't have considered myself ready. So I am ready in that capacity. I'm, I'm, I'm mentally ready. So I say, but let me tell you all the reasons I'm not and why I'm freaking out. I've been with Sean. Sean and I have been together for 10 years this year. We've been married for five years this year. Like he and I are, are at the point where we want to start introducing new characters to our story. But I am terrified. I think I'm gonna be a good mom. And I feel like, I think like, uh, what's stressing me out is the things that I'm, I'm scared of, I feel like 
I don't think I'm like alone. I don't think I'm, I'm so original. These are the only, I'm the only one to have ever felt this way. But like, I feel like I don't have normal fears. Like it's not, most people are like, how are we going to afford a baby? Or, or, oh my gosh, what if I'm a bad mom? I'm not worried about the financial stuff. I'm not worried about being a bad mom. I know I'm going to be a good mom because like, I'm not a piece of shit person. So I feel like if you've got that going for you, you might work out. But like, I know Sean's going to be a good dad. We have so many examples of good parents in our lives not just our own, but in-laws and friends that like, that's not what I'm worried about. But let me start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. I am scared of like, what is it gonna feel like inside me when it's moving around? Like how much of it am I gonna feel? Am I gonna feel everything? Oh my gosh, like I'm really just, I got really warm thinking about it, like, and ugh. Like, am I gonna feel all of it when it moves? <sighs> like, I'm gonna let myself be fully vulnerable and f react because I think it's kind of funny, which is kind of fucked up because like, I shouldn't torture myself, but I feel like you might think this is kind of funny. And two, it's just this, at the end of the day, this is a very, happy subject like it's super exciting and so fucking terrifying to think about having a baby but like i know i'm there's no way i'm alone with the things that i'm feeling so i'm just gonna like feel my feelings and you're gonna hopefully relate And then one day I can show this video to my child so they can understand how horrified I was to have them. So yeah, the changes to my body and the moving around and the growing and oh my gosh. And like, I don't mean it in like a vain way I mean, like, low-key, like, I don't want to get fucking huge. But I'm hoping, you know, I'm going to be Princess Kate and I'm going to look fucking phenomenal. But I'm a realistic person. Like, the whole, like, and it... Mm, like, I just, I'm terrified about what it's going to feel like when it... And yes, I'm going to say it. Get the fuck over it. It's a baby, okay? So I'm going to say it all I want. With it moving around inside of me. Mm. And what if I don't love it when it's inside me? What if I hate it? What if I have a miserable pregnancy and I'm pissed off at my baby? Because like, yeah, I because I know that's possible. I've known, I've had friends who have said like they didn't really like their baby at first. Like what if I hate my fucking baby? But let's just put a pin in that real quick. I'm talking to you as someone who's not pregnant. What if I can't get pregnant? What if I can't get pregnant? That's not so funny. <laughs> I have no reason to think I can't get pregnant. As far as I know, like, I mean, my mom had four of us, but it took my parents a long time to get pregnant. So it's like, what if I can't have, preg have fucking kids on my own? So then it's like, okay, yes, there's adoption and all that shit, but like, And this is one of those things I hesitate about getting into because it's like, I don't really know how to explain it. Actually, I do. It's simple. I want to have my own kids. And you know what sucks is I feel like, I feel like I should be ashamed. Like, I can't help but think, what if I can get pregnant? And so Sean and I adopt. One of my very best friends, Ian, he's adopted, which side note, he kept from me for years. Just kidding. But I do remember when I found out and I was just like, what, you're adopted? How did I not know that? So it's like, I have a cousin who's adopted. Like, I actually have several cousins who are adopted. Like, adoption's an amazing, amazing thing. So it's not like, you know what I mean? Like, don't make it about that. Like, don't make me feel like shit. But like, I feel like I'm supposed to feel like shit for saying I want to have my own kids. But that's not wrong. I think a lot of people want to have their own kids because there's something about I fucking love Sean so much. I want to give him a baby. 
And don't think about how I'm going to give it to him because that's none of your business. So I'm really scared. Like I'm so scared that I almost don't want to try to have a baby <laughs> because it's like it's like Schrodinger's cat. Like if, if I don't try, I maybe I can get pregnant. You know what I mean? Like I just I'm so scared. What if I can't get pregnant? Then, of course, that makes you think like, okay, Libby, well, what if you can't have kids, but it's not because of you, it's because of Sean. How will you feel about Sean? Will you resent him? I don't think I would, if I'm being fucking honest. I don't, I don't think I would, because I know how I would feel, I know how I would feel if I couldn't give him a kid, and I would feel heartbroken if he resented me. At the same time, I'd understand if he was a little pissed. And that's not to say, again, that adoption, or like, that's not to say that there's anything wrong with people who can't have their own kids or, or whatever. It's just as simple as I think a lot of people have the same vision I do. You get married and you have a baby with your spouse. So that's like the number one thing I'm super scared of. Like, what if I can't have a baby? Or what if I can't get pregnant? Okay. Well, let's say I can get pregnant. I learned in my adult life that miscarriages are far more common than I ever realized. What if something happens? And that's kind of twofold because it's the emotional side of things of, I can feel my anxious brain like light years ahead and it's freaking out down there. But like, what if I do get pregnant and then something happens? I've had loved ones who that's happened to. It's just, I don't know, it's just like that shit's scary to think about. Then of course, if we fast forward to, let's say I can get pregnant, nothing goes wrong as far as that goes, and then I start growing this person inside of me. Cause yeah, like pregnancy, birth, that's beautiful, blah, blah, blah. But like at the end of the day, you have a person growing inside you that's kind of like, shit from Mars. Like, that's weird. That is so weird. You have a person inside of you. And if you're watching this and you've ever been pregnant and I've seen you pregnant, know that that's what I thought. Did I think like you were a cute pregnant girl? Sure. Did I want to feel it move? It freaked me out. Whose baby was it? Was it Sam? I want to say it was my friend Sam. I felt her baby move. And actually I actually think Felicia with Jocelyn. It, ugh. And like, it was like, it was like no offense, but it just like it caught me off guard. But yeah, like, no, I guarantee you, if I've ever seen you pregnant, I've literally had the thought of like, you have a person inside you. Like, that's so fucking weird. I actually don't mean that in a terrible way. It's just fucking crazy. Like, it's fucking crazy. And it's also kind of fucking cool and awesome and like beautiful, beautiful. Fuck, I said it. It is beautiful because like, oh, I can feel myself wanting to cry is how I know I'm not pregnant and I'm gonna start my period. <laughs> I think I had just what what in therapy would be called a breakthrough. As terrified as I am of the whole like growing a baby thing, I want to be able to do it and I'm so scared that I won't be able to. I don't know why. Like I said, I have no like reason. It's not like I've gone to the doctor and the doctor has said this or that, but as passionate as I am about 30 not being old, I do realize that as I get older, shit can happen. You know, there's a certain age, what is it, 35? Where it's like considered a high risk pregnancy? Granted, that's five years away, but I don't know, like that shit just scares me. But I want to be able to do that awesome thing that women can do and not all women can do which is grow a person i want to be able to grow a person and this probably sounds so stupid because it's like why am i so upset about something that hasn't even happened yet and and that i have no reason to think it couldn't happen i'm just being pessimistic and worrying for no reason and as i said to my little brother obviously about a different topic but putting all this energy into something that might not even be an issue it's because I'm really scared. So that is what has been on my mind for like weeks now. I've literally thought about it every day. I have dreamed about having kids and then I wake up and I don't have a baby and I'm so sad. 
Hey Sean, do you want to come talk to talk on my video about having babies? You don't want to have babies? <laughs> I do, not right now. I don't know, it's just crazy. Thinking about having kids is one of those, it's probably the biggest thing that'll ever happen to me. You know what I mean? I mean, yes, getting married or moving or like, you know, whatever, but it's like a person, like being respond, like being the reason a child happened. <laughs> Like I said, I know that I have feelings. I know that my my, my thoughts are, aren't, aren't original. You know, I'm sure that there's got to be someone else out there who has felt the way that I do. I realize that there's got to be someone out there who feels the same way that I do. Crazy to think about like how different my life could be and in such an exciting way and to have like just this little person, this little smudge that is just, I mean, part me, but like part Sean. Like, I can't think of a better person to have as your dad than Sean. Like, to think about the fact that, like, I could have a baby that's just even half him. But I'm so scared because, like, what if I can't do it? And I, I know that's so fucking stupid. I know that's so stupid. Because I have no reason to feel that way. And, and like I said, like, I know that I'm worrying about something that, like, I haven't even tried. But it's like, it's, it's as if I, like, I almost don't even want to. Like, it's almost like the anticipation and excitement about talking about it and and the, yeah, we're gonna try to have kids this year. And like, it's it's almost like the excitement of, of just talking about it. I'd rather just live in that space than the actual trying to have a kid and something happening and going wrong. So that is what's been haunting me. <laughs> uh, you see what I mean about this topic though? Like it's so <laughs> unrelatable to dudes as far as like the having the baby part but like I can't help it like it is seriously like the only thing I've been thinking about for like weeks now so I'm about to turn 30 and like I can have a kid any fucking time like I could there's nothing like it's not like I had to wait till I was 30 but like I'm also one of those people that when I say things and it's in my mind I don't like I said 30 so I was gonna wait till I was 30 kind of thing I kind of want 30 to just get here already so that I can just be 30 and then I can try to have a kid. At the same time, it's not like when I'm 30 and a day old, I'm gonna start trying to have a kid. I have like a time frame in my head. I have some things I have to take care of first. Plus I have a doctor's appointment, I think in June about my medication because I always check in with her and I just figured I would just wait until that and talk to her about, you know, is there anything I need to do to try to have a baby? <laughs> um, especially as far as my medication goes, because I would assume I can't be on my medication if I'm pregnant. So that's something I have to get taken care of too. <sighs> so yeah, that's my life. And I'm, uh, I, I don't wanna say like, I'm sorry if this video was like uninteresting to you because it, it like, come on, dude. <laughs> It's my life. I have to talk about it to someone. Yes, I talked to Sean about it and I think I've talked to my therapist about it a little. Maybe I should. <laughs> well, actually, yes, I have talked to my therapist about having kids because another fear I had was, and let me just acknowledge that I know this video is all over the place. Another fear that I had was, what might I pass on to my child? As far as you know, depression, anxiety and stuff. And I think like that was one of the things that was actually freaking me out more than anything I just talked about was like that. And then she and I talked about it and I feel better about it. And so now it's like, well, that's taken care of. And now other shit's brought to the surface. Um, it, and it's funny because my therapist gave me a very 
um, I don't know, like it was really obvious when I was telling her like, well, I'm just scared. Like what if I have a child and they have depression or anxiety and like I'll feel so guilty and da da da. And it was like so simple. She said, you, the good thing is, is that because you have it, you can recognize the signs, you can give them, you know, different tools to cope. You know how to take care of it and, and you know that it's real and you know how to help. And, and it was, it was just, I, it was just so weird because it seemed so like, oh yeah, duh. Now that I'm not so worried about that, all this other shit's come to surface. Hmm. But it's also super exciting. Like it's, crazy you know I've had so many loved ones in my life my sister-in-law actually my both my sisters-in-law um my my good friends you know I remember them telling me they were pregnant and then being pregnant and sh having showers and having the baby and you know like and it was like so exciting but it was always third party and the fact that like that could be me is so crazy and exciting so fucking scary. So here's hoping I just get pregnant on accident. <laughs> well, I'm gonna wrap it up because if I keep down this like path of like what if what if I'm gonna like end up on the floor. Thank you if you stuck around for this convoluted randomness. You know, come back next week if this video wasn't your cup of tea. It's just like I said, it has just been on my mind so much lately. I'm just gonna stop there because my mind's doing the thing again where it's freaking out about shit. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you are having a great day, great night, great week. The next time you see me, I will be days away of turning 30. <laughs> so I might be more of a basket case. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, have a great day.